what is going on guys so are you trying to cheat anxiety go ahead and smash that like button down below if you're ready to kick anxiety in the butt and leave me a comment down below and let me know is this something that you are guilty of i suspect many of us are i was very very guilty of this now in the beginning whenever i first got anxiety i didn't know what it took to recover so i didn't change anything at least for a couple years um, i continued to drink i continued to smoke cigarettes I wasn't exercising, I still ate horrible food, sleep wasn't a priority in the beginning, um, I would lose sleep for days, and I, I just didn't try to really address my anxiety. Like many of us, I kind of thought that my anxiety would just one day magically disappear. I thought one day I would wake up and it would just be gone and I'd you know, thank God on my knees and pray and say thank you for just taking it away from me. And I thought that's what was going to happen. I didn't think how I really didn't understand how much effort I would have to put into it. So a couple years go by and then I start getting, you know, I get to the point to where I actually accept anxiety. And, you know, there was a year of recovery towards the end. Um, but there was a little murky water type situation in between that. And this is where I was trying to cheat anxiety. I would have a few good days, symptom free, no anxiety. So I thought. And I thought, hey, um, I can I can drink, you know, I can drink. It'll be okay. Um, and then I would have this horrible anxiety hangover again, like every single time. I thought that since I'd gotten a few days, that it was all good now, you know. So I would still dab my foot into some guilty pleasures, and I, I would smoke a cigarette, and then I would have a panic attack right after that, even though I'd been good for a few days. Some of you are trying to cheat anxiety. You know what it takes to recover, but some of you are skipping your exercise. Guys, I had to exercise every day during that last bit of recovery because that was the only thing that reassured me that I was healthy and helped me with my health anxiety. If I skipped a couple days, my mind, it, it, as crazy as it sounded, I was this irrational. My mind would have been like, oh no, I, I'm, my heart's gonna get weaker since I didn't exercise. I, I literally had to exercise every day to reassure myself. I had to quit drinking. I would have horrible anxiety hangovers. Cigarettes, tobacco, you know, snuff. That kind of stuff right there would give me panic attacks instantly. You know, and then I had to start meditating. If I missed a day meditating, guys, it wasn't good. It just wasn't. Some of you haven't even started to explore meditation. Don't try to cheat anxiety, especially if you have a few good days where you're doing everything right. Guys, what I noticed was if I had a few days that was good and then I messed up and I had a bad day, there were so many times where that would turn into a bad week, a bad two weeks, almost a bad month because anxiety comes back even stronger. You have to keep your foot on anxiety's neck every single day. Don't try to cheat the system, the process, whatever you wanna call it, your routine. Get a routine down, know what your triggers are, Know uh, what your root causes of anxiety are and attack them every single day. Don't try to cheat it. Don't do good for a week and then mess up for a few days. It's probably going to happen with most of you, especially right before and towards the beginning of recovery. But you will learn, hopefully, pretty quickly that you have to put the bad things away, the bad habits away, the things that are holding you back. Let them go. Okay, so I hope you got some value out of this. this is a little bit different kind of weird subject, I guess, but I just wanted to share uh, with you that it was on my heart. So like this video if you got value. And again, leave me a comment down below and let me know if this is something that you're struggling. Are you trying to cheat your anxiety disorders? Um, aside from that, guys, you know what's in the description, but I'm going to go over it anyways. Okay, the better help is down there. Thousands of therapists you can choose from. It's cheaper than therapy on the street and it's convenient. You can do it from your home. I've got three different journals down there. There's a fat loss journal and nutrition. There is a morning sidekick journal. It's a great way to start your day. That's really, really important whenever you're trying to get over anxiety and a meditation journal. So if you don't know how to meditate or journal, it's going to put those together and it's going to help you out. So check out those or down below. My Facebook uh, group down there is amazing. It's for anxiety disorder support. So if you have any type of anxiety disorder, make sure you check that out. 
Also, my Snapchat, my Twitter, my Instagram are some other areas where we can stay connected and you can uh, get my videos. Subscribe if you haven't. Guys, if you haven't hit that notification bell, please do it so you will get updates whenever I put my videos out. There's an anxiety store with many books and workbooks, so it'll help you with your anxiety disorders. Uh, try to grab every resource that you can to get over your anxiety. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in today. Um, another video from the car. I don't know why, but sometimes I just like doing videos out here. Um, it's a little bit peaceful. I don't, I don't understand, um, but I just like doing videos out here sometimes. But thank you so much for tuning in, and um, have a great rest of your day.